Hey everyone and welcome to this episode of Sleep Like a Boss and it's our first episode in the new year if you're watching live, if you're catching the replay, we're, well, happy new year. So today I'm going to talk about body temperature and sleep and everything that it entails. So a lot of people ask me about when to exercise, when to take a hot bath, um, is body temperature actually something that you should consider, what is the perfect room temperature, and so forth. And so I'm going to tell you a little bit about the science behind this and give you some tips um, on what you can do in order to get the most out of this topic. So the first thing that you need to know, or that is basically the most important kind of pillar for body temperature and sleep is the following. So when you go to sleep, your body temperature, your core body temperature goes down. So in general terms, it is very often said that if you help that process of cooling down, it can help you to fall asleep faster. Now, having said that, um, let's go over to the topic of exercising, for example. We all have a different way of cooling down our bodies. Some of us are really great at regulating that body temperature temperature, whereas some of us have a little bit more difficulty. And that is also what is going to depend on when I recommend you to exercise. Because some people exercise have a heightened body temperature and they cool down pretty quickly, which is helping them to fall asleep a little bit faster. However, other people have more difficulty. So if they heat up and they cannot cool down very quickly, it might be that they have a quicker heart rate and a heightened body temperature for a little bit longer and it's going to take them longer to fall asleep as well. On top of that, if you are, of course, in an environment that's super bright with super loud music and take a spinning class that's like full of pumping energy, it might be more difficult for you to wind down as well. So in general, I would tell you to experiment and see what your body does. If in doubt, then exercise in the morning and also look at what kind of exercise you do. I really like something like yoga, but a little bit more fit yoga, you know, like sporty yoga, but where you have a beautiful dark environment in the end, and that can help you to wind down, be comfortably tired, have the body temperature rising, but already cooling down as you do, you know, a nice death pose or corpse pose at the end of your uh, practice. So that's something that I would like, for example, but it's completely up to you. But that's my recommendation on that front. The same for the hot bath. If you manage to cool your body down and to help you to drift into sleep, it's perfect. However, if you have a hot bath and everything is keeping up to a higher temperature and you have a quicker heart rate, then it might be detrimental to your sleep. So again, you need to see what your body is doing. Then the other thing is that in summer, when everything is super, super hot and you don't have air conditioning, something that you can very simply do is just take a towel, put it into the freezer and then put that below your head when you want to go to sleep. And through your head, that cooling feeling is going to help you to cool down a little bit as well. So that might help too. The other thing though, which is a little bit of controversial to what I've just said, is that the skin actually likes heat or likes to be warmed up a little bit. So it doesn't like to be cold because if you have to shiver because you're cool, your body is producing energy, it's going to make it difficult for you to fall asleep. So having a comfortable skin temperature can actually help you to fall asleep. So it's been shown in studies that a warm touch to your skin can increase your deep sleep by 30%, which is a lot, and it also can help you to reduce early morning wake-ups. Now, the reason why I know this is that because next week or this week, I'm going to be in Frankfurt at a fair together with a company called Freshbed, and they have a bed that is having a ventilation system and also a temperature system that is keeping your bed at a stable temperature. So obviously that is going to be individual to what you prefer, but once you figure that out, you can just enter that into their system and the air and everything is going to keep your camp temperature stable. So it's going to measure your body temperature and it's going to keep everything stable so that it can help you to sleep better because you won't have, you know, this constant game of 
keeping the covers and opening the covers and you know being active all of that way is just helping you to keep that temperature stable so i think that's a very neat invention that i really like and statistics have you know shown that it helps so that is a different story as well to your skin temperature so you have body core temperature you have skin temperature and in general the cooling cooling down process is helping you but a warm touch to the skin can also be very helpful right so it's two different ways of looking at things it's two different impacts basically um, but again it's individual but this might be helpful if you don't know when to choose to exercise if you don't know if you should take a bath or not so now you know why it can help you and you can also maybe know why you couldn't sleep when you did those things that maybe some people have advised you to do you know exercise very hard but if you still can't sleep it might be because your body core body temperature is just too high so I hope this was helpful. It's a very cute and neat one and short one. And um, yeah, I wish you happy exercising, happy soaking in bathtubs and happy sleeping. And I'll be talking to you very soon for our next episode. Bye.